So shooting in the 70s, consistently breaking 80, chipping edition. This is part of my wider, extensive collection of break 80 series. Check the other ones out. What do you need to do with your chip in to make sure you're giving yourself every chance of shooting in the 70s consistently and breaking that 80 score? So let's kick this off by looking at double chips. So having two chips to get onto the green. This is a huge problem and a way bigger problem with people who are struggling to break this 80 score. The better players are almost half the amount of double chips. So what can we do to make sure we're reducing them down? Because remember, in this series, it's about every part of your game making these small differences that's going to make you break this 80 score. Reducing those double chips, the best way of doing this is to make sure you've got options in your short game, that you are robust, you're able to deal with more situations. I've got three different clubs here, I've got my 58 degree, I've got my putter, and in my bag I own a chipper. All three of these clubs are giving me more options, more chances of making sure I hit the green, the, the killer skill. So the one I want to be able to play is my 58 degree. I'm coming up and over. There's a bit of a down slope the other side. My 58 degree definitely has the best chance of getting the ball very, very close, but it also has a higher chance of me hitting the double chip. So subject to the situation and how I'm chipping and how much I've practiced, there's a good chance if you're trying to break 80, you're not practicing enough because work and life get in the way. I need to have these options. So the putter, definitely an option from here with the grass pretty tight around the green. That's way closer than my chip went and I basically haven't hit a putt from off the green for a long time. And that's also why I own a chipper. There's nothing, there's no proudness in my bag. I'm not trying to be any kind of a hero. I'm trying to shoot lower scores. This chipper allows me to shoot lower scores because I use it in situation. So having these three options is allowing me to get that ball on the green. And there's enough of you out there not getting the ball on the green in one go enough. Bear in mind now we've got rid or reduced those double chips with some good strategies. Let's look at proximity and try and make sure that you have realistic ideas of what a good shot or a bad shot is, so you're not disappointed when you play, which could drag your whole feelings down and make you feel like you're just not performing, which could affect every aspect of your game. But also then understanding what kind of targets, ideas you should be chipping into to make sure you're hitting those greens even more often because people are not chipping the ball nowhere near as close as they think. So if we look at proximity when it comes to chipping, we see a difference between the two skill sets. And I think this is something that could be really evened out. So if we go zero to 20 yards, people who are breaking 80 are just under nine feet average proximity. That's with all lies from zero to 20 yards, where the person struggling to break 80, they're closer 11 feet across all lies. I've got a great game coming just in a second, which will help you really tighten this skill up. Go from 20 to 40 yards against the two demographics, just over 17 foot across all lies compared to 22.95 feet, almost 23 feet to the person struggling to break 80. We need to get this tighter. You can do this. This game will really help you. I like golf to have a low, a medium and a high shot. You can do that with one loft, which is a real skill. So for different situations, de-lofting and then hitting it low and then hitting a medium one, then going for the flop shot. Having all those in your armory is really important, but you can also use lofts for that. So make sure you are practicing with these different lofts. Having a low, medium and high is gonna allow you to run it over banks, flop it over banks, bounce it into banks. These kind of things are gonna happen on green, complexes to make sure you're having less chips and chipping it a bit closer it's the variety and that's often what we're all scared of having this variety practicing it will make you see what you're good and not so good at so the flop shot for me on that occasion was the worst one so i might not use that shot unless i really need it but if you're not practicing this variety you're just going to be pulling random shots out at random times making bad choices having more chips than the person who is breaking 80. One, two. Great little game you can play. Just grab three balls. You can use one club or selection of clubs. And I want you to take a number of steps away from the hole. Something that's more realistic to your proximity. And with the three balls, you're gonna just throw them out there at random. You can throw them in different directions or in one, whatever you want. Wherever they lie, you're gonna chip them. How many do you get within the steps that you've allocated for yourself? <laughs> Yes. 
So all three of those shots required me to play a mixture of low, medium, high, one in, one close. I mean, they're all within my two. That's an outlier for me, but it's gonna make me very realistically understand that if on a front pin like this, I've got a chip from off the green, do I need to just make sure I get it past the hole so I'm not leaving myself that double chip? Just trying to get the balls close to that hole is a great strategy as well. Try not to fall into the idea of trying to leave it below or above the hole. You can see there, I chipped a good amount of hot shots there. One in, one short, one long. I'm not good enough, or we don't hit it close enough to be that accurate. Get the ball on the green, have less chips. It's gonna drive that score down and help you really achieve this goal of shooting in the 70s consistently. But if you wanna find out how to improve your iron play to help you really improve your scores, this video has got all the answers you need to break that 80 score.